This video will demonstrate the technique of minimally invasive endoscopic thyroidectomy. My name is Dr. William B. Anabnet, Professor of Surgery at the Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. Endoscopic thyroidectomy is a minimally invasive approach to the thyroid gland that permits safe thyroid removal with the use of video endoscopic equipment. The incision is small and placed in a hidden location. A video endoscope is placed directly into the wound so that the image of the operation appears in a high definition monitor. While viewing this image, your surgeon performs the thyroidectomy using laparoscopic instruments. Careful patient selection is important for endoscopic thyroidectomy. Eligibility criteria include patients with thyroid nodules less than 4 cm in size, small stage 1 papillary thyroid cancers, Graves' disease, toxic nodules, or small nodular goiters. However, it is important that you are not obese, as obesity is a relative contraindication to this approach. What are the advantages of endoscopic thyroidectomy? First of all, the incision is in a hidden location so that there is no visible scar on the neck. Since a video endoscope is used to perform the operation, the operative field is illuminated and well lit and provides a magnified view of the anatomy for the operating team. This promotes teamwork, which may increase patient safety. What are the disadvantages of endoscopic thyroidectomy? The surgery does take longer to perform and there is a longer dissection plane to get to the thyroid gland. This may lead to anterior chest wall discomfort. This approach is not widely available in the United States and is only performed at select view centers. What are the risks of endoscopic thyroidectomy? The risks are very similar to that of conventional thyroid surgery. There is a 1% chance of a permanent voice change a 1% chance of needing to take calcium on a daily basis due to parathyroid dysfunction, a 1% chance of postoperative bleeding leading to hematoma, and 1-5% to of patients will experience some neck swelling. There are some risks that are unique to the endoscopic approach, including transient chest wall numbness in 5-15% to of patients, and nerve injury to the arm or hand leading to numbness in 1%. This last complication is infrequent and rare. Patient outcome is directly linked to the experience of the operating surgeon. If thyroid surgery has been recommended, it is extremely important to locate an experienced thyroid surgeon. During your consultation, ask your surgeon, how many thyroid operations do you perform per week? And if a minimally invasive approach is being entertained, how many endoscopic thyroid operations have you performed? Locating an experienced, minimally invasive thyroid surgeon is of utmost importance. For the endoscopic transaxillary approach, the arm is very carefully extended over the head to expose the axilla. The incision is then made in the axilla to allow access to the thyroid gland. This short video clip shows you the view that the surgeon sees during the operation. The thyroid gland is located at the top of the screen. This instrument is called the harmonic scalpel and is being used to divide and coagulate tissue. Here the thyroid gland is being mobilized from the trachea. The recurrent laryngeal nerve or the nerve to the vocal cord is being dissected from the thyroid gland. You can hopefully appreciate the magnified view that is offered to the surgical team and this assists the surgeon in identifying and preserving the pertinent anatomy. What should you expect after surgery? In most patients, the recovery is very quick, and at Mount Sinai, most patients are discharged to home the same day of the operation. You will receive a phone call from your surgeon the day after surgery to assess your well-being. Most patients experience some transient swallowing discomfort and stiffness in the shoulder and neck, but these symptoms are usually self-limiting and rapidly resolve. You can expect to take five to seven days off from your job and your surgeon will call you with the pathology results once they are available. Three weeks after surgery, the axillary incision is well healed and the neck has a normal contour. Three months after surgery, there is no evidence of having had thyroid surgery as there is no scar on the neck. In addition, the axillary scar is well healed and practically undetectable. 
With the arm in the down position, it is in a hidden location and not visible. In summary, endoscopic thyroid surgery is a minimally invasive alternative to conventional thyroid surgery. The safety profile of the endoscopic approach is very similar to that of conventional thyroid surgery. Endoscopic thyroidectomy takes longer but offers an excellent cosmetic outcome with no visible scar on the neck. For more information about minimally invasive thyroid surgery, please visit our website at www.msthyroid.com or please feel free to call for a consultation. My name is Dr. Nabnet. I thank you for your attention.